Good morning. Selfia is a settlement ruled by the native dragon Ventoswil, where players can choose their own fate. They can grow food, raise monsters, and forge equipment. They can also develop friendships with characters and take part in seasonal festivals. The game has a novel plot, a newlywed mode, and a new difficulty level. Players may explore new locations, discover hidden mysteries, and hone their fighting abilities. They can personalize their homes, form love relationships, and discover the secrets of the native dragon Ventus Will. Don't push yourself too hard now. I will not allow them. Nine Parchments is a co-op action RPG game. The game features a group of ambitious wizard apprentices who divert from their training in search of the Nine Parchments. As they investigate, they come into powerful spells, resulting in disastrous mishaps. Players may cast a wide range of spells, unlocking new characters, wizard hats, and magical staves. They may level up and develop their characters as they proceed, but they must make sensible decisions since their actions will influence their fate. It supports both online and local co-op modes, with one to four players. <laughs> in Raging Loop, a young man, finds himself stuck in a terrifying psychological horror scenario. The ancient gods have returned to hunt the peasants, and the feast has started. The werewolf, an angry creature, stalks among the peasants. The game is a visual novel with a complicated branching tale and a clear flowchart for recording selections. Deaths can be rewarded with a key, which allows players to explore new avenues and discover the killer's identity. The game also features a revelation mode, which allows players to view characters' inner thoughts and unlock new scenarios. <laughs> Bramble the Mountain King is a fascinating adventure set in the magical region of Bramble, where players must cross a terrain teeming with dangerous monsters. Oli, the young protagonist, must save his sister from a dangerous troll. The landscape is teeming with both giant and little creatures, and players must be cautious as they go through woods and tunnels. The Spark of Courage, a supernatural relic, enables players to overcome challenges. Players must combat the monstrous animals utilizing a variety of methods and tactics, but bravado without compassion may lead to disaster. Immerse yourself in an epic RPG story making alliances with one of five competing queendoms, each with its own distinct traits and ambitions. As head of a prominent school, you are in charge of its growth and development, including the construction of new buildings and upgrades to amenities. You teach and help pupils with a variety of talents, such as warriors, magicians, and rangers. Collect precious resources from vanquished foes and create formulas for crafting weapons and armor. Real-time conflicts with a party of four pupils allow you to master the art of fighting and magic. I pass this duty on to you. The Lightbringer is a poetry adventure platformer game set in a world riddled by evil depravity. The protagonist, led by their sister's ghost, must cleanse the taint and become the Lightbringer. The corruption is aimed at ancient monoliths, which serve as sources of power and illumination throughout the region. The protagonist has the power to extract pure light energy from the environment, which is an essential resource for purifying the monoliths. The game combines exploration, platforming, and battle, with each level acting as its own planet. Lightbringer. Sateki the Witch Queen, who was concealed in an unmarked tomb for 4,000 years, has emerged. The Strange Brigade, a squad of courageous warriors, are the only ones capable of battling Siteki and her mummified abominations. Players must band together in online or local wireless co-op to defeat merciless enemies like as moaning mummies, fire-breathing assassins, and impenetrable minotaurs. The game portrays four brave agents who have been trained to confront the supernatural and use motion controls and mystical amulets to unleash destructive blasts. Breaking out the big guns, eh? It's going to be a long Batman Arkham City is an exciting game that sends players on a tour through Gotham, a psychiatric institution turned horror. Players must travel the perilous halls of Arkham Asylum 
where the Joker creates mayhem and madness. Batman uses his combat skills, detective talents, and gadgets to vanquish his daunting opponents. The game also includes historic places and hidden mysteries as players assume the role of Batman, the city's only chance. The enigmatic Arkham Knight, aided by friends like as Catwoman, Nightwing, and Robin, poses the greatest danger to Gotham. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is a horror-punk action role-playing game filled with Lovecraftian horrors and Cronenbergian gore. The player assumes the role of Di Brom's lone surviving striver, charged with conquering the formidable Seven Acolytes, who are possessed by malicious gahars. The game has difficult enemies, mini-bosses, and spectacular large-scale boss encounters. Players must learn battle and develop their character and equip through missions, perks, runes, upgrades, and looting in order to succeed. Origami is a stealth game in which players control and manipulate shadows in order to penetrate opposing ranks. The game is included in the Shadow Edition, which also contains Aragami Nightfall, a narrative campaign that takes place before the events of Aragami. Yamiko, a girl imprisoned in Kiryu City Castle, summons Aragami, a furious spirit. The game puts players on a dark adventure filled with magical abilities, light-shattered combat, and a tale about twin souls that are fated to be together. In this fascinating adventure, players may wield new shadow powers and put their stealth abilities to the test. It's not easy to break out in the mullahs, kid. The game contains a wide cast of characters, including androids, artificial intelligence, and corrupt humans, each with their own story to tell. Players may traverse the city on foot and in hover vehicles, solving mysteries in a world of corporate conspiracies, hackers, and renegade AI. Players may immerse themselves in the daily lives of the characters and make long-term decisions that affect the people of Nivalis. Players can also uncover secret areas and artifacts, which unlocks new storylines. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Spirit of the North is a visually gorgeous game that immerses players in the rocky landscapes of Iceland, enabling them to interpret the reality based on their own observations. The protagonist in the game is a red fox that explores the planet and discovers secrets through the northern lights and the aftermath of a catastrophic tragedy. The game is designed to be contemplative, inviting players to consider the power of nature, the fragility of life, and the resilience of the natural world. It acts as a reminder of how important it is to preserve and safeguard it. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel are all included in the Borderlands Legendary Collection, which includes over 100 hours of gameplay. Solo or cooperative play is available, as well as local two-player split-screen or four-player internet play. The game offers four mercenaries, each with their own RPG talents, and lets players to explore Pandora, a lawless planet, and the rise to power of the villain Handsome Jack. The pre-sequel introduces new gameplay elements and genre-blending mechanisms. Another one. Thus, the lights turn. Urban Flow is a game that mixes the beauty of city streets with the difficulty of keeping order by manipulating traffic lights and avoiding crashes or traffic congestion. With over 100 levels, players may play alone or with companions, and they can either help preserve order or cause havoc. To avoid accidents, special vehicles like ambulances and tanks must be driven with extreme caution. Urban Flow includes alternate modes such as the score-based Endless Mode and the Chill Mode, which enable players to play at their own speed with no rush or scoring pressure. Get in sync with the music and become one! Thumble. A storm causes a shipwreck on an exotic island teeming with frogs. To gather resources to repair their boat, the player must travel a network of transactions. They meet nice people, solve riddles, and find hidden treasures. The Island Sandbox lets players explore at their leisure, forging their own path and assisting people. They study frogs and put their knowledge to the test. Players must exchange commodities, solve riddles, and avoid becoming distracted by island life in order to repair their boat. Was to be a light guide. 
Tiku, a candle character, is charged with save his tribe's shaman from a mystery cave. The environments in the game are beautifully crafted and loaded with hidden mysteries and hints. Players solve puzzles and interact with the world by using their candle hand. Teku must use their brains in quick reactions to evade a variety of threats and deadly monsters. Players are kept on edge by the game's powerful atmosphere and dramatic moments. The hand-painted watercolor pictures provide a compelling experience, making every moment feel like an incredible trip. The Hellwarders are a group of ancient warriors who must band together to defeat the approaching demon hordes. With their exceptional skills and talents, they must battle Hellspawn and deploy an army of knights, archers, and magicians to fortify their defense. The game blends action RPG aspects with tower defense gameplay, enabling players to select from three distinct characters, each with his own set of weapons, skills, and powers. As they go, they will obtain beacons that may be utilized to improve their skills and uncover powerful artifacts. Sparklight is an action-adventure set in Geodaya's ever-changing terrain, where everything is connected by Sparklight, the planet's life force. The occupants have figured out how to securely channel it, and the blue lighting mineral may be harnessed for low-level power or ingested for a spike of power. Geodaya's self-titled Baron intends to harvest the world's Sparklight core to power his war machines, but pollution from consumed Sparklight pollutes the environment. Ada, a brave mechanic, must stop the Baron from obtaining the core and gaining ultimate power. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked any one of these games, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. And stay awesome. She won't let the Baron win. She may fall, but she will get up.